What up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today I got a video that I'm really excited to share with you. Uh, for those of you who've been following me for a while, you know I use the Complete Control by Native Instruments. And I've always talked about like, hey, I can't really break down and see my third party stuff you know not all of my third party you know libraries that i have here uh stuff that i use keyscape and omnisphere and junk like that could never browse it from the complete control until now i figured out a way it's you know just some deep deep research and i'll put the links in the description for the, the sources that i actually found out how to do this but i figured i'd share it with you guys in case you would be excited about figuring it out yourself so basically now i can hit my user section and i have loaded keyscape in here and you can see i have a thumbnail for it uh, I have a section over here. It shows with Keyscape and the logo and everything. And then even when I hit the plug in button, Keyscape thumbnail shows up here. And when I get into, that's the next thing I'm going to be getting into, adding in my banks and my sounds, I'll be able to browse all of that now. So I've gotten step one done where I actually can now browse um, some of my third party instruments here in the user section. So I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. We're going to jump over to the computer and we're going to back and forth an A and B between uh, the, you know, complete control and this. And I'm going to show you how I made it happen. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're on the computer here, so let's dig into it, and let me show you how you can make all of this work. Uh, you're going to need a couple of things, really, to kind of make this work, and you'll see as we go through, but one of the big things is going to be Photoshop or some sort of photo editor uh, in order to, um, you know, create the thumbnails and edit the thumbnails and all of that good stuff like that. So we're going to start here inside of the Complete Control software, and I have Omnisphere loaded up, so we're going to create, uh, basically... Uh, a bank for Omnisphere uh, on the complete control. So what I'm going to do is save it. Go here to file, go to save as, and we're going to save it. I already kind of got it typed in there um, as Omnisphere. And so I'm going to hit save. And as you can see on the complete control, it automatically shows up with Omnisphere on here, but there's that little plug-in non kind of you know, interesting thumbnail uh, that I don't like. So we're gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what I'm gonna do first here is go ahead and we're gonna close uh, now that we've saved that complete control. And what you're gonna want to do is, is go to um, your file, uh, your, you know, file browser, what have you, file explorer, Finder on Mac, but we're going to do this for all intents and purposes on Mac. And I, again, I'll include the instructions in the description uh, from where I actually got this from uh, on how to do this. So it's got some instructions on there for Windows users on where these files are located. But as a Mac user, you're going to go into your hard drive, go to users, your Macintosh hard drive or whatever you have it named, go to users, go to share, shared, and then you're going to go to uh, where it says NI resources, all right? And once you're in NI resources, there are a couple of folders that are important. One is this DIST underscore data, database and the image folder. So in here, we're gonna go ahead and create a couple of folders. Uh, here, I'm gonna go here to new folder and we're gonna call both of these folders Omnisphere. Uh, it needs to be the same name that you named your preset when you saved it. And we're going to drag that folder into the image folder here. And we're going to create another folder. And we're going to call it the same thing, Omnisphere. Right? And we're going to put it in the dist database folder or what have you. All right? Now that we've kind of got those here, what you're going to want to do is, is take a look at like a folder that's already created to kind of you know see what files you need because you're gonna have to make copies of these files. So I'm gonna click on New York Concert Grand and every folder in the image folder has this same kind of hierarchy. You have a MST underscore artwork, you have a MST logo, MST plugin, then you have what they call a metadata, um, you know, file. You have the OSO logo the VB artwork and the VB logo. They're, these are the same files that are in every 
uh, one of these folders. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is is copy these or uh, you could just what I did was I just took these files and I dragged them into uh, I'm uh, into Photoshop not Omnisphere uh, and I edited them here inside of Omnisphere. I just lay overlaid uh, my icon images and everything uh, all right inside of uh, Photoshop. And then what we're going to do is resave them in the Omnisphere uh, folder or what have you. Okay. So really uh, simple to start there and kind of jump in. So I've already done this for sake of brevity. I found these images on the in, on the internet of Omnisphere. Just typed in Omnisphere, then I dragged them in and just resized them to fit on top of the you know existing image or what have you. So now what we're going to do is save these files as .png uh, files, uh, you know, in whatever editor that you are in, and you're going to go. And you're going to put all of these files inside of the Omnisphere folder. All right. That's all you really got to do. So I'm going to jump and do that. And then I'll jump right back in once I've saved them all. Okay. So we've saved all of our image files here inside of the Omnisphere folder. Now we're going to add in our, um, our metadata folder. So what I'm going to do is, is look at this one that's inside of the New York concert grand folder. We're just going to double click and open that up. And it kind of gives you how the hierarchy and how that's supposed to be set up with your metadata. But what I'm going to do is, is copy this one, go to my Omnisphere folder and paste it. And then we're going to um, change the name of this to Omnisphere, of course. Right. And then we're going to open it up and we're going to change the text. So I can close this one. We're going to change where it says name here to um, Omnisphere. Again, keep it lowercase. Uh, and that's really all we need to do for that. But there's an extra line of text that I found that you needed to add. So I'm going to use this one from the waves. It's called a vendor tag. So we're going to throw that in there. I'm going to hit copy. And we're just going to paste it here and give it a couple of spaces. And we're gonna change the name of the vendor to Spectrasonics. All right, uh, just need to do that. Uh, I don't really think these kind of matter, these version numbers, I don't know. I don't think it does, we'll see. Uh, but once you've done that, save that file, that metadata file, close. And then what we're going to do next is come over here and copy this entire folder. And we're going to go down here to the Spectrasonics folder that I set up. Because you're going to need to set up a Spectrasonics folder or a folder for a hierarchy folder for whatever um, the vendor name is. Like Spectrasonics, if it's output, if it's whatever, whatever third party uh, instrument you're trying to set up. And I'm going to paste it inside because I had set up one for Keyscape. Uh, it says the same thing inside of there, the exact same thing that's inside of my Keyscape folder that's already in here as well. So it has to be in two places. One place is for the software. The other place is for the complete control uh, computer. I'm not sure which is which. Um, I didn't really concern myself with that. But that's all you need to do in terms of getting the images there. So now that we've got that copy, we've got, we're going to go in here inside of the this database folder and we're going to set this up or whatever. So the same thing you would do, you would go in and copy, you know, these three files right here, all these files right here, these four files and put them inside of your, you know, Omnisphere folder or whatever plugin folder or whatever. Um, and then change the, the data on them. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to use the Keyscape folder. I'm going to copy it. Uh, and then I'm going to paste it inside of here and that's going to help me kind of save some time here with some of these things. So we'll change uh, Keyscape meta to Omnisphere. I have to make sure I spell that right. Meta, meta, uh, have you say it. Uh, and we're going to double click here and we're going to just change. Really, the only thing we'll change here is where it says Keyscape to Omnisphere. Oh, I didn't spell that right. See, 
uh, and save and that's done that's really all we need to do with that uh, same thing with these folders you're gonna open them up with text edit and you're going to just um, work with these changing the text so we'll change keyscape to omnisphere uh, yeah we'll change that to that and save it and here under omnisphere I'm sorry color now here's something that's really cool I'll get back to that in a second we'll, we'll show you that text edit and we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna change these all to omnisphere now just to kind of save time I'll just copy and paste it we'll just select copy and paste and paste and paste so now we've got that in there save that that saved and the last thing you want to do is edit your color so i'm going to show you how i did that with the color thing it's kind of funky uh, because this is the actual background color that you will see uh inside of uh the complete control hardware that will show up uh and that will show up inside of the header under the name um of the particular product or whatever uh so what we're going to do is, is open this with text edit again and it's open and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to this website that I use for the keyscape called HD HTML color codes uh, from you know an image you get the colors from image so I'm gonna upload this file you know my documents here no my downloads okay and I downloaded something earlier for Omnisphere let's find it Omnisphere uh, let's just use this we'll just use this and it pulls it up here and you can actually mouse over any of the colors and then choose a color so we'll choose this color and I'll click it and it gives me the color code down here uh, select it copy it and then we're gonna go back to text edit and we're gonna paste that code uh, minus the number symbol do not paste the number symbol in there I learned that the hard way and save it and it's saved and we're done with that uh, so we can close that now let's go back over here I think that's everything we need to do inside of the actual uh, folder and then we're gonna do the same thing we did with the other folder copy this and we're gonna paste it inside of the uh, spectrosonics folder so we have two copies of each folder in each top folder so that kind of gets you set up there um, and that's pretty much all you need to do and once you've done that you can go back over to the complete control and be able to uh, see everything uh, from there so now you can see now that I've opened complete control back up I have my Omnisphere um, thumbnail loaded up here it's really really dope so I can hit load and load up Omnisphere and it'll load up and then when I hit the plug in button uh, I even have the little thumbnail there that looks all nice and neat and I have the little Omnisphere stuff over there and it feels really native. I really love that. I really think that's dope. So it looks really, really good uh, and I'm excited about adding in all of my little third party non NKS uh, sounds in this little area and adding even even adding in banks and stuff so when I, once I get to that process and figure that out I'm gonna document that for you guys as well I put some links in the description uh, to the um, uh, the text you know reading you know um, uh, where I actually read and got this information from so you can follow those links especially for you guys that use PC and need to know where those file uh, locations are on a PC uh, you're gonna want to click those links and all those things like that so you know how we do hit this like button the share button the subscribe button all those buttons to do video uh, stuff on the video turn on notifications all that good stuff like that check out some of these other videos on this channel and we'll talk to you guys on the next stream I'm out holla at your boy